Hiram here. For the longest time, I've had people asking me what I thought of the Kmart grease pot for a pot. I mean, a long time. But it wasn't until yesterday that I finally found one. Sorry about that. Finally found one at my local Kmart. So it was on sale, and I picked it up. I thought maybe today I'd do a test on the same rig that I used yesterday with my Boy Scout pot, that internal aluminum pot stand thing. I don't know what to call it yet. So I'm going to do the same test again using the grease pot instead of the Boy Scout pot. Grease whoa. Grease pot painted job. I loosened up the knob because I'm going to take it off. The instructions on the thing says be careful with scrubbing it because I guess this is paint and it'll come off. I didn't get a weight on this. I should. But uh, it's very light, fairly large. Lid with a knob on it. I'm going to take that off. Has a strainer on the inside, which I don't know what we'll use that for. Maybe as a fire pan for wood pellets or something. And then here's the the pot. So I have two cups of water here. Put that in. Now I'm going to take the knob off the top of the pot. Probably find something else to use on there anyway. I don't like knobs sticking out when I'm trying to put this in a pack or something. I'll use that for the probe. Just like so. So here we have the same burner that I used yesterday. Uh, I forget the time of this. I'll have to look it up in my book. But I'll just put the pot on the top of that. That's fair, fairly steady. Now I've got one fluid ounce of methanol in the burner, in the stove rather. Nothing's going right today. Just apply the match. It goes right up. I think you can see that. Start the timer. Okay, it is at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. There we have 210. 211, 212, and 427. Okay, and let's see how long that takes till run out. And there the flames are going. Seven forty seven for run out, seven forty seven. So interesting. Okay. That was two cups of water starting at sixty degrees. Came to a boil in four minutes and twenty seven seconds. Boy, I got a case of the drops today. Using the Boy Scout pot yesterday with the same stove, that took 4 minutes and 48 compared to 4 minutes 27. Now this aluminum does seem a little bit thinner than what's on the Boy Scout pot. And then run out was about the same time. Yesterday was 7.36, 7 minutes 36 seconds. Today was 7 minutes and 47 seconds. So not bad. <clears throat> it looks like the two cups of water that I have in there, I don't know if only goes up maybe about halfway on the pot. So I would imagine you could put three, maybe four cups in here. I'll give it a check. I also have to do a uh, weight. 
the diameter of this, should have done this before, is about five and a half, five and a half inches in diameter and about three and a quarter inches tall. Five and a half in diameter and three and a quarter inches tall. So all I got to do is get the uh, weight of this with just the lid like that. That's, I mean it's light. I'm sure you could crush this if you tried, but it might not be bad for a low cost. This cost me what? <coughs> it was on sale for $6.29 plus tax. The Kmart grease pot. It's called a grease pot because you dump your grease darn light. You dump your grease in here and it strains out the big bits and leaves you the grease to reuse. Just like that. So I hope that satisfies the people that have been asking me this for a long time. I'm sorry it took so long to get a test on this. But <clears throat> like I said the Kmart around here just didn't carry these. For some reason, all of a sudden, they got one, and it's on sale. Go figure. So I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the thick and thin.